Hello everyone, so our intent today was to do this in front of a whiteboard and, and, and talk about corporations and taxes and, and moving uh, money around when you have real estate corporations. But today's been crazy. Some of you may know that uh, I'm leaving for, for a few weeks off to Europe and Nick and I have been doing a big handoff on some stuff and we're actually here in a BMW dealership because I'm dropping off Nick to pick up his car. So we've been running around, so we're doing this here. So. Uh, uh, what we wanted to talk about was insurance. A lot of people have asked us questions on wet basements. If you haven't heard, half the Hamilton Mountain, where uh, there's a lot of different rental properties, uh, got, had wet basements. Some of the pictures are like astonishing. They had to close part of the highway down up there. So there's been a lot of uh, communication around wet basements. And here's what you should know. Insurance companies, now check your policy. All right, we're not insurance agents, but insurance companies generally don't cover wet basements if it's come from a lot of rain and some water has kind of seeped through maybe the footing and the block of your of your property. Or if there's you know a crack in, in somewhere or it came in through a window or however it came in. So if it was just a lot of rain that came down and your basement got wet of a rental property, insurance companies don't cover it. Uh, insurance policies usually don't cover it. Check your policy. However, they do cover sewage backups. So a lot of people in the Hamilton Mountain specifically told us that they had sewage backups. That's typically covered by insurance policy policies. But here's the catch. If you have rental property insurance, a lot of rental property policies don't cover that. It's the tenant's insurance or the contents insurance on the property that the tenants would get that covers that. So you have to check your policy. And if it was something done that the city did, we had uh, one, one person that we know has a property and the city was uh, kind of messed up with the with sewage pipes. And uh, that's a, a little bit different and that's actually covered. So you gotta check it out. But overall, the themes to remember is that if it's, it's just a lot of rain comes down and you have a wet basement, it's typically not covered by insurance. If it's a sewage backup, it typically is covered insurance, but for rental properties, it might not be in your policy. It's usually covered by the, the contents or tenants insurance on the policy um, that your tenants hopefully have. So hopefully that gives you a bit of scoop of what's going on around uh, insurance policies and, and wet basements and that kind of thing. Um, that's it for now. I'm off for a few weeks tomorrow. I we may post something um, from, from Italy or from Croatia wh while I'm gone. Um, Nick will be up to a few things uh, as well. Um, so you'll have some more uh, blog posts to check out. But that's it. Hopefully uh, you found that useful. And until next time, your life, your terms.